Welcome back to Trailer Shots. I'm your host and bartender, Doug King, and in this episode, we're hopefully gonna have some laughs by looking at three comedies. Grab yourself a beer, get ready, we're gonna have ourselves some trailer shots. Our first film is Seeking a Friend for the End of the World, and it stars Stephen Carell and Kira Knightley. Knightley was recently just honored with making the list of the 50 British female power players. Let's have a look. The final mission to save mankind has failed. The 70 mile wide asteroid known as Matilda is set to collide with Earth in exactly three weeks time and we'll be bringing you our countdown to the end of days along with all your classic rock favorites. So uh, feel free to wear your casual Friday clothing pretty much any day of the week. And if anyone wants to be CFO, <laughs> anyone? So, what are you doing with the rest of your life? Catching up on some me time, find God, maybe move around some chairs. Maybe I'll run into you on orgy or something. Well, that sounds nice. Listen, Elsa, you don't have to come next week or ever if you don't want to. It's okay. You fighting me? There's just no need. Forget it. See you next week, Mr. Dutch. I regret my entire life. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye now. We should set up Dodge with Karen, don't you think? It's everything I never wore. <laughs> Sky is falling. I've been with a different girl every day. They don't care about diseases. Are you gonna call them back? Or are you related, you know? No, I don't. It's, I don't. I you don't. don't know. <laughs> Hello? You okay? No! I'm never gonna see my family again. Would you like to come in? I won't steal anything if you don't kill me. Agreed. Who's the girl? She the one that got away? Well, they all got away, but she was the first, yeah. Let's go find her. We need to go, right now. If you drive me to where I need to go, I can get you to your family. Luckily, I'm getting my midlife crisis in just under the wire. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Frenzies, where everyone's your friend. I believe you guys are still open. And do you know what? It's his birthday today. Why didn't you tell me that? Happy birthday! Yeah, we should go. Yeah, we should go. We are the world to know. Can't be serious. How fast are you going? 15 miles an hour over the speed limit. Given the couldn't you find it in your heart to give my friend here a fighting chance of being with the one he loves before we all reach our untimely conclusion? No. Well, that is Seeking a Friend for the End of the World, and who better to seek that out than Kira Knightley? She's a lovely young lady and an incredible actress, and Stephen Carell is as funny as ever. Always understated, and I just, I love the way he acts, I love the way he does things, and this looks like a very interesting and funny film. Um, I, for one, hope that they do open up a chain called Frenzies because I really like the way they treat their customers there. I would go. This is writer Lorraine Scafaria's directoral debut. She also wrote Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, and she's also an actress with seven credits to her name. If you didn't recognize the song playing in the background of the trailer, it was a brilliant use of Talking Heads' We're on a Road to Nowhere. Seeking a Friend for the End of the World opens June 22nd, and I am going to give this four out of five shots because I think Stephen Carell is hilarious in everything he does. Kira Knightley is a wonderful actress and beautiful as well, and I think the supporting cast looks like they're going to have some very, very funny parts. I especially like the scene where the police officer is going to give them a ticket even though the world ends in four days. Our next film is the comedy based on the popular series of pregnancy guides written by Heidi Murkoff and Sharon Mazel. It sold 14.5 million copies and it is called What to Expect When You're Expecting. Let's have a look. I just wanted the glow. The one that they promise you on the cover of those magazines. Well, I'm calling it. Pregnancy sucks. Making a human being is really hard. I have no control over my body or my emotions. Scare Bear, I'm sorry. All I want to do is punch you in the face. Relax, don't you ask 
We reserve the deluxe suite. This is your father. Husband, he's my husband. A lot of people say that. I thought you said cute, Marshall. Oh, not hot. Well hey, done, hot. Rosie. Well done. You said I was cute? Dude, she's totally doing him. If I knew I was gonna have a rack this gorgeous, I would've gotten knocked up years ago. <laughs> group you want alex ready send him to the dudes you drop your kid of a changing table stuff just happens okay last week my kid ate a cigarette i caught him playing in the dryer yesterday i picked up the wrong baby from daycare found my baby swimming in the toilet no mm -hmm. judging is best. Yes! I was breastfed myself till I was six, and look how good I turned out. Look at her. She's wearing six inch heels. Oh, she's like a magical pregnancy unicorn. <laughs> what to expect when you're expecting. I look at houses with Holly, but we're not buying one. <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah. When your wife says you're just looking at houses, you're buying a house. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. I'm not buying a house. Oh, check your receipts. Welcome to escrow, bitch. Well, that is what to expect when you're expecting. And I did not expect this movie to be this funny, but it looks very funny. There are actually two trailers, and I was torn about which one to show you, so I'm going to post the other one on Facebook. But this movie really looks very, very well done. It has an incredible cast. The beautiful women alone in this film make it worth the five out of five shots we're going to give it. You've got Cameron Diaz, Jennifer Lopez, Elizabeth Banks, I think the very gorgeous Anna Kendrick, and Brooklyn Decker. Come on now, what a great cast. But ladies, don't worry, you've got enough eye candy for yourself as well. The men are Chase Crawford, Matthew Morrison, Dennis Quaid, Chris Rock, Rodrigo Santora, and Bell, Ben Falcone. Sorry about that, Ben. Well, I'm giving this five out of five shots because I really didn't expect much from a film based on a pregnancy guide. But I think the writer has done an incredible job of adapting it to a film, and you have a great cast that have some very, very funny lines. I'm really looking forward to this film. Again, that is what to expect when you're expecting, and you can be expecting that May 18th. Our final film is Adam Sandler's That's My Boy, and I'm going to try not to let the fact that Adam's last film, Jack and Jill, won every Razzie possible affect how I feel. Let's have a look. Everybody. The fact that this has resulted in a pregnancy leaves me no choice but to levy the maximum penalty. Take care of our baby, Donnie! Dumbass. So what the IRS say? You haven't paid taxes since 94, Donnie. I'm going to prison if I don't get 43 lives. Holy cow, that's my boy. He moved out when he turned 18. I haven't seen him since. He is one of the youngest hedge fund managers in the financial industry. Maybe your son can help you. Your old man is here. Voila! Donnie, what are you doing here? What's well, have a guy with Mrs. Sean's wedding? You were basically the worst parent ever. I was awesome. You let me eat cake and lollipops for breakfast every day. That's what you asked for. Yeah, you're supposed to say no. I didn't know what I was doing. I was 13, 14 years old. You know what I remember? Is me having to drive you home because you were too drunk. Somebody's hammered. They have another guy drive home. I was eight. You drove like a champ, too. Huh? Give me another chance. Get to know me a little bit. You guys have fun at the bachelor party. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Don't forget, you're gonna go to prison on Tuesday. You have got to get that money. I'm actually just trying to be a dad right now. You wear a bathing suit in the shower? Can't even take my shirt off in front of other people. What did I do this? Yeah. Let me jog your memory. New kids on the block. Their heads are all warped now. That's yeah, because I got it when I was in third grade. My body grew. <laughs> you suck. That's my boy! Ever since you showed up, Todd's been acting like a different person. 
Join your shit, buddy! Please don't hit it to me. Please don't hit it to me. Keep going, big man! <laughs> you are right, gay! Throw it in there, homie! I think the ball's broken! Throw it, you big vagina! Do it! Oh! On a rope! Well, that's my boy. And that's my idea of some funny stuff. I really like Adam Sandler. I know his films can be hit or miss sometimes. And my biggest fear about this is that all the funny scenes have already been seen on the trailer. I'm going to give this film just three out of five shots because I'm hedging my bet. I'm just a little worried that some of the best scenes have been shown. The young lady who plays the school teacher who Adam Sandler gets pregnant is played by Eva and Marie Martino. Later in the film, when she is older, she's played by Susan Sarandon. Here's an interesting note. Susan Sarandon is actually Eva's mother. So they kept it all in the family. Susan Sarandon also played Andy Samberg's mother in a Saturday Night Live digital short called Mother Lover. One of the reasons I do want to see this film is for the very, very lovely Leighton Mester. She is a gorgeous young lady and she is working very hard on making herself into a singing star. She sang all of her own songs in Country Strong and she wrote and sings the song Your Love's a Drug in this film. So I think that's cool. I wish her the best. Cheers to that. That's My Boy opens May 18th. Well, it's that time once again, the drinking time. And today, to celebrate the five out of five shots that I gave to what to expect when you're expecting, I found a drink called the Rabbit's Revenge. Seemed only appropriate. For this, you are gonna need bourbon, grenadine, pineapple juice, and some tonic water. You're also gonna need a Boston shaker and a highball glass. Okay, we're gonna start off filling our Boston shaker with ice. Then grab some bourbon. I selected Maker's Mark. You're gonna do a four count, which is an ounce and a half. Then you're just gonna put in a few dashes, about three dashes of grenadine. You can use, either use the alcoholic or non-alcoholic, whichever you can find. That should do. And then about an ounce of pineapple juice. You have to shake it now before you put the tonic in. All right. And then I have my highball glass already pre-iced. And then I'm going to top this off with some tonic water. If you'd like, you can put either a lemon wheel or an orange wheel on there as a garnish. I went without this evening, and uh, let's have a taste. That's very nice. That is the Rabbit's Revenge, and in that, it is one and a half ounces of bourbon. I selected Maker's Mark because it's one of my favorite. A few dashes of grenadine, and then one ounce of pineapple juice. Shake it up, pour it into a highball glass, and then top off with tonic water. From there, put on a garnish if you'd like, and you have the rabbit's revenge. That wraps up another episode of Trailer Shots. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you had a few laughs. I think you'll really enjoy this cocktail, because I certainly am. Please leave me a comment, subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Check us out on Facebook, where we're going to post some additional trailers for these movies, as well as some additional gossip and trivia. Until next time, cheers.